Hi guys, it's Rachel with Nail House Rock. I'm an independent consultant for Jamboree Nails, and I just wanted to show you guys how I do my nails if you don't have a mini heater. If you can afford a mini heater, you have electricity, then go for it. But if you're, say, just received a sample, or you don't have your mini heater, or you don't have access to electricity, and you do have access to a cup of tea, this is how my new favorite way of doing this. So, my nails are prepped. Um, if you want to know how I prep my nails, there's a video on my Jamberry Basics playlist. Check it out. So my nails are free of cuticles, they're clean. Um, I'm going to hit it with some alcohol. And uh, if you don't have a prep wipe, feel free to use um, a cotton swab with isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. Um, and then I'm going to pick out the wrap that I sized. and. You want your wraps to be smaller than your nail. You don't want them to ever touch your cuticle. Um, so you're going to have a little bit of gap on the side of your nail. No one's going to notice it but you. Um, so I'm going to take my wrap and I'm going to take it with, this is, it's a very subtle design, but this is the design side. This is the sticky side. So we're going to use the design side and we're going to put it at the bottom of the cup because that's going to be warmer than the top and you don't want the steam to get trapped under your nails. So I'm just going to put it up against the top cup until it gets warm and pliable. And because I'm not using you know, a mini heater, which has a ton of heat, this is gonna take a second longer than it normally does. And then I'm just going to put it on my nail, make sure, woo, I got the good placement. My nails are really curvy, so it's hard to tell. And I did, and then you're gonna just kind of push it down. And I give it a good tug. And then I'm going to put it up against the heat source again, which is actually really warm. You wouldn't think it, a cup of tea is going to get that warm, but it does. And I, I'm using a really thick cup. It's my Jack Skellington mug so that it um, holds a lot of heat. And then you're going to pull and then you're going to push. And then I'm going to do that on the other side of the nail. And I'm not pushing it up against my nail, I'm just setting the wrap there so that it gets warm. And you really need your wraps to be warm um, to get good adhesion. And so this is a simple way that you can add some warmth without um, electricity or as long as you have access to some sort of heat source to make the hot water, of course. And then I'm going to give it a good tug as I push, and then I'm going to push. So the tugging is for people with really curvy nails like mine, and it's just so that we don't get these bubbles here. So if you're getting bubbles here, you wanna make sure your wraps are nice and warm and give it a tug as you do that initial um, pushing down because it's going to help stretch over your you know, curvy nail. And so once I do that, I'm gonna put it up against my heat again. And um, this cup is pretty darn warm but I want to kind of make sure that the heat is now getting all over, which it is. And then I'm going to push down with a cuticle pusher. And I'm going to make sure that every little bit of the um, edges is down. I'm going to make sure it's down on the middle. You know, you're just kind of doing that. And if you don't want to use a cuticle pusher, you can just use your other hand. You want to make sure your tips are down all the way around the edges, everywhere is down. And then that's too much hanging off for me. That's way too much, it's gonna bug me. Um, especially as I do my other nails. So I just give it a trim. They're still gonna be hanging over, but it's not gonna be as obscene. And then normally I would move on and do my other hand. So this hand is cooling while this hand is getting warm. And you really want your wraps to be cool before you trim them because um, as they cool, they're gonna retract and uh, you're just gonna get a better fit if you let them pool. Um, for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna trim. And so you wanna trim your wraps at theoretically a 90 degree angle. Too far this way and you're gonna have wrap hanging over. And then as you do your daily life, you're gonna have your tips come up and it's gonna be not fun. If you do too far this way, you're gonna have um, nail showing. I actually like having a tiny sliver of nail showing, so I cheat a little bit this way. Um, Jamberry recommends 90 degrees. I just do a little bit different. And you always wanna go down. And I'm just filing off the wrap. So the wrap came off, and then I have it perfect. And then I'm gonna hold my nail up against the heat source one more time and get those tips nice and warm. And I never have problems with my tips, and I think it's because I do this right after I file. I go back and I make it warm one more time, and then I concentrate 
on just making sure that those tips are really nice and down. And then because um, I have kind of sharp nails, I go over it again with a glass file and always in a downward motion just to make it very soft because I have kind of sharp claws. But that is how you put on a Jamboree nail wrap with a hot cup of tea. And as you can see, uh, you they look great. There's always a bit of nail showing. In the beginning, I recommend more nail showing just until you get the hang of it um, because you never want your wraps to touch your cuticle. You always want them to be flat against your nail and no bubbles. And if you have curvy nails, of course, the tugging is going to help you prevent the bubbles. So I hope you like my tutorial. If you want other tips and tricks, I've got lots of other videos on my Jamberry Basics playlist. Check them out, and we will see you next time.